almost done in here. The Shane has finished doing all the taping of the bulkhead underneath there. So that was done this morning and now we're on to fixing up the last bit which is going to be just tidying up that bulkhead and then we can sand and paint in here. It'll be exciting. I know Harry's excited. What are you doing? Laminating unis. So what's this for? Uh, this is to go into the edge of um, Harry's bunk opening. Mm. So this is all uni? Mm-hmm. Why uni? Um, because I need the uni to make the end flange of the beam. That's a polyester? No, uh, vinyl. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> What have you done? Oh, this has been more difficult. It rolled up a lot easier when it was dry. Why are you rolling it up? Because I've got to get it into a 20 mil gap. Oh. Yeah, no, that's not going to f*** work. Ah! Too much weft fibre in here. Too much what? Weft. Fiber. What's that? Fiber that goes across. So the wrong way? Yeah, so that it holds it all together nicely. Mm. So if you're laminating uh, it onto an object, or particularly a flat panel, it'll be really, really nice. But I don't want to laminate it into a flat panel. <laughs> Be in trouble here. Mm. How long does it take for this stuff to go off? 40 minutes. That's why I used it. It's got a little bit of time to where it chills off. Mm. And the other issue is, is that's 25 mil wide, not 20 mil. <coughs> to just cut it. Skip 
be an even bigger mess. technical um, masking tape consolidation method for the uni um, yeah and it seemed to actually come out pretty well a um, couple of stray bits of uni but generally speaking it has actually consolidated really quite well um, so pretty happy with how that went Yeah, quite nice. Yeah, no, that's um, the glamour. Absolute glamour. So, now that grunty is, need to give it a little bit of a post cure as well, because it was not the warmest evening last night. And. Like all these things, they should be post cured. Oh, yeah, that's where I got a bit silly and I put some of the filler in with it. Which turns out I didn't actually need to, but you know. So I can give this a good sand up now. Yeah, 
give it a bit of a post cure before I sand it up. It's still looking a bit soft. got to uh, <coughs> sand all this, put a radius on it, and edge cap it. And then it's good for heaps. Oh, so those who want to know how much uni's in there. <coughs> uh, it's 20 mil wide by 5 mil deep. That's the dimensions of the uni that's in there, which was 200 mil uh, so that's 10, 10 layers of 600 grams. Yeah. Yeah. 10 layers of 600 gram uni. This is your foam for the finishing off the bulkhead that you were cutting out yesterday. Uh, yeah. Sure is. Very cool. Harry Berry. Why are you playing for the floor on that? Hmm? Why bother for the floor on that? Because you need to put stuff on there. Yeah, you can't pile stuff in the build. Okay, so while Shane fits that bit of foam and he's got to just edge cap and um, bog that. Aiden has been working on uh, the floor down here so he has taken the floor at the base of the stairs out and he has been busy using that as a template for the new foam floor and hatch so this is a hatch that they've infused Shane and Aiden have been working on that and here is the floor and you can see that They've been thinking a bit about resin flow and how they're going to put in all of the holes. These are all holes. Adrian spent all day yesterday drilling holes and marking this out. And so this is the floor ready to be infused. So that we should have a new floor in very shortly. Okay. Well, I think that's about all I've got time for in this video. A lot about edge capping. Stiffening up that bulkhead. <laughs>